This is How to Drink, the show about making cocktails and how to drink them. I'm Greg, and I have never been a professional bartender. I've never even had a job in a bar. I don't worry too much about precision in technique, because at the end of the day, if the drink you like is in the glass, you did it right. Let's get going. This is How to Drink, the show about making cocktails and how to drink them. Let's make a Dr. Funk. Dr. Funk uh, sounds like a made-up name, but Funk is actually a German last name, and he was a German guy. He was the private physician, supposedly, uh, for Robert Louis Stevenson, who wrote Treasure Island and Last of the Mohicans, I think, and some other books. Uh, kind of famous for adventure stories and stuff, and, and really, in that respect, fits right in with the world of Tiki and that pantheon of glorious, flowing cocktails. Uh, so uh, let's honor him and make the drink that he supposedly invented, if he it did indeed exist. Dr. Funk is a serious bit of tiki drink. This recipe shows up starting in the 1920s in the South Pacific, before migrating to the Americas via uh, Trader Vic and Don the Beachcomber, who brought it here first. I don't even want to begin to uh, hash that out. I just know that it's a great drink, and uh, we're gonna make it right now. This drink's gonna start with a half an ounce of fresh lemon juice. I'm gonna put it into my small tin. In she goes. And now I need a quarter ounce of grenadine. We're gonna need a half an ounce of lime juice. I need a half an ounce of Demerara syrup. Uh, Demerara is the same thing as, simple, as regular sugar. It's just a little less refined. I couldn't tell you exactly in which way it is less refined. Right now, somebody is commenting to tell me in which way it is less refined, and I thank you. We need a quarter ounce of absinthe. Oh my God, listen to that. I love a really talkative cork. That's a cork that'll tell you a story, you know, if you listen. We need two and a quarter ounces of black rum. I'm using Blackwell. And that's all of our ingredients at this point. We're gonna need some crushed ice now to shake this drink up. This is a drink that we're gonna do with crushed ice. That's the end of my Lewis bag, it just exploded. Drink is shaken. Now we want a glass to serve it in. A uh, double rocks glass would be perfectly appropriate. I'm gonna use this guy, because look at him, he's awesome looking. Before we start adding anything to this, we're gonna put in an ounce of seltzer. Uh, and then we're going to pour this in out any kind of a strainer. I'm gonna dress this drink up with um, a few pineapple fronds, some orchids, and a short straw. There it is, Dr. Funk, a potent combination of spirits. And uh, let's uh, see how we do. Son of a bitch, I love that drink. That is a cool drink. That is tart and sharp. There's a lot of... Um, rum, you can really taste the molasses. It is that kind of sweet that's bitter at the same time. I, I, I mean, I guess the word for that is bittersweet. This is a bittersweet drink. It's that kind of thing. I'm gonna go back in. Mm. Yeah, damn, I like that. There's a strong note of herbaceousness, of course, from the absinthe. I mean, that is um, throughout it, but it's not overpowering. It's right on the edge of overpowering but you really get the rum, you really get the syrup, you get all of the citrus in there. That is, whew, that's a cool drink, man. Dr. Funk knew what was up. Guys, thanks for watching. This is How to Drink, the show about making cocktails and how to drink them. We've been doing tiki drinks for you. I hope you're having a great summer. This one, Mr. Dr. Funk, we'll just call it Dr. Funk. Uh, this one, the Dr. Funk, is a real classic. It packs a wallop. Strong, herbaceous, and drinkable. A dangerous drink. Thanks for watching. If you like the show, I hope you'll subscribe, and I will see you guys next week with another cocktail on how to drink. I am going to imagine that Robert Louis Stevenson was a very well-attended patient if uh, this was in the arsenal of his good Dr. Funk. That would have been just fine. That's the kind of doctor I'm looking for. And if you're that kind of doctor, I am looking for you.